might not be the most perfect solar eclipse viewing we've ever had, but still a fun thing to witness if you do and are able to see it safely. However, like I said, there are some safety issues with looking at a solar eclipse. All right, the first obvious question is, what is a solar eclipse? I mean, I, I think people hear about it, they know that something's about to happen, but they're not exactly sure. So this is a time when the moon, sun, and earth align just so perfectly that the moon is blocking the sun and casting its shadow on the earth. And during the height of the day, so what normally would be your noontime, you know, happiness is, as a uh, bright sunny day is definitely going to be shadowed. Yeah, and what's, so is it is it very unique? Is it something that happens yearly? So eclipses are fairly unique. There are solar eclipses and there are lunar eclipses. And somewhere on the planet, there is an eclipse every 18 months. Wow. But to have one this dramatic, a total eclipse is definitely significantly rarer. The last time we had a total eclipse in North America, you know, the complete that was a uh, and, and this part of Mississippi really was like 2017 and even then it was like really actually it was partial here other parts of the country saw it as total yeah I think I was in Tallahassee when that mm -hmm. actually happened and I, I remember being outside at the pool area and we had the glasses and speaking of the glasses yes. you have something very important to tell us about the glasses that you need to wear but the problem is is you need sometimes to make sure the right the ones. right ones exactly right. so tell us about that so there are a lot of counterfeits out there you need to be aware of that there's a lot of places to buy glasses now and then and you can't really blame the retailers that much because they're they're getting sources and they're being told that these are right. reliable ones but what you want to look for is this so i've got two pairs of glasses here they look a lot alike one is the real deal one is a counterfeit and i'm going to show you right now how to tell the difference so can the camera focus on this little tiny logo right there i want you to look at that little kind of round logo with lines that say ISO, ISO. That is the real deal. Any pair of actual Eclipse glasses will have that exact logo. Now look at this. Here's your fakes. I want you to look how closely, how similar this is. I'm gonna put them side by side. The real deal, the fake. Notice this one's more like a globe. The font is different. It's a little bit bigger. That's a real difference. And though they both have the correct number on them, and I have to read that, it's uh, ISO 12312-2. You are looking for the right logo and font. Yeah, that's really interesting because you would think, hey, this is really important. You could go blind if you have the wrong glasses there. Right. But yet people don't exactly know where they're going to get them. They just assume, why, why would anyone lie? They're not that expensive. Uh, because there's always somebody looking to make a deal. You know, like I got both of these sets, these particular ones on Amazon. One was the right thing. The other wasn't. And Amazon was very responsible and they caught it after the fact. And they sent me an email that said, yeah, these, these weren't the, we, these weren't legitimate, but they had provided initially a certificate that said they are authentic. Uh, from the Astronomical Society, and so there are great links people will go to to have a counterfeit. Uh, sadly, the weather is not going to be that great, most <laughs> likely, when this happens. How bad is it going to affect it? It will affect it, but I don't want you to be disappointed by that. Like, um, whether or not we have rain, thunderstorms, whatever, the eclipse is happening. It may not be as dramatically beautiful as it is on a very clear sunny day, but there are things that you're going to notice. I uh, saw video footage of one during a thunderstorm, and I mean, it was bl it was dark, it was storm, it was craziness, and the guy who was filming it. <laughs> He was kind of swearing. He was unhappy the whole time. He started filming about two minutes before totality. When the shadow of that moon passed, oh boy, it went from dark to black. That's cool. And then all the street lights came mm -hmm. on. His dog was barking because he's like, why is it getting so dark so fast? A lightning bolt. I mean, it was still really dramatic and really interesting. 